This is emotional, mate. This is emotional. Hello, my wonderful royals, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Break Airport Reacts. And today we are doing the wonderful Blackpink once again because they have released their album. And their MV shut down, which I have already reacted to at this point. I literally just reacted to that um, as of rec as when you're watching this. That should be out already because I will be putting that out first. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, please do go back and check it out. But I have just checked that out. Um, I really, really liked it. And now it's album time. <laughs> I'm finally here, ready to react to this bloody album um, that has been out now for over a day. <laughs> I'm trying to think when it dropped now comfortably over a day at this stage uh, as of recording um, and I am here finally with the opportunity to react to it and I'm ready for this because I have heard good things about this album so far um, so I'm really excited to dive into this as soon as I can if you are new here hello if you are a Blackpink fan if you are a Blink please do check out my previous Blackpink reactions there are a lot on my channel they are a special group to me I mentioned this in my MV reaction so I won't bag on about it too much um, but they are the, the group that got me into K-pop the group that got me obsessed with, with K-pop uh, the first group that got me diving headfirst into this rabbit hole. Uh, the first group I saw live. All the rest of it, they are a very special group to me. And as a result, there are a ton of reactions on the channel. So please do go back and check all of those out and catch up on my Blackpink journey thus far. That would be awesome. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this reaction, please drop us a like, drop us a comment. And of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Join the royal family, become a royal yourself. That would be fantastic. But with all that being said, guys, we are just going to get straight into this thing because I'm ready. I'm ready to finally, finally check out this album today. It is Blackpink time. Let's do this. So this is the wonderful Blackpink and their album Born Pink. Finally, finally, I am here, sat down, ready to listen to this thing. I'm giddy with excitement, as you may be able to tell right now, because <laughs> I am very animated. Um, and I'm ready, and we are starting with... So I'm, I'm going through the B-sides, just to clarify how I'm doing this album. Obviously, three of the songs I've already checked out, because they have MVs, and they've been released and stuff, so Shut Down, Pink Venom, and uh, Ready for Love, I've already checked out. So I'm not going to be doing them today, I'm going to be doing all the B-sides, of which there are five. Um, and the first one is Type of Girl which is track number three on the album. Um, so that's what I'm starting with. Uh, the, I'm using lyric videos for this. I, don't always, I, I, I can't speak. I can't even speak. I'm so, I'm so like, overwhelmed. Right, <laughs> start again. Right, I'm using lyric videos for this reaction, as I always do with my album reactions, um, just because I enjoy, to see, I like seeing, reading the lyrics and finding out who's singing each bit and all that jazz. Um, so I am using lyric videos. This one is by Jay Gucci. I have used this person before, so thank you so much for that. This is Type of Girl. Let's begin! Oh, I'm so excited. I honestly don't know what to expect at all from any of these songs, to be honest. So, it's gonna be fun. Oh. oh. English song? English? Are we doing full English? Oh. So much sass. So much swag. Vocals, though. Vocals, mate. Raise those voice. Oh, it's so special. Oh my god. so smooth oh this oh that rap just just hearing the start of that rap then i'm thinking yes lisa's gonna go off and i'm ready for it but before that um this kind of this album so far you know and i include shutdown in there um 
<laughs> it seems to have a very kind of smooth nature to it. I kind of like that kind of sort of, it's not like, you know, really kind of bah, 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 bah. like it's, it's kind of a bit more chilled, like a bit more kind of da, 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 da. like it's, it, I don't know, just the vibe of it is a bit more like it's still got that attitude to the nines, but it's kind of more chilled out in how it delivers it. And I quite like that, you know, it's like that sort of laid back, like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I am it. And you will know it at this point. <laughs> you all know I'm it. So I, just, I can just sit back and let you feel my uh, glorious presence. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it has that nature to it. Um, yeah, it seems to be an all English song, which I've heard is a thing in this, um, that they, they have a lot of English stuff going off. So I, this is a full English, it seems like a full English song. Um, that's something what I love about Blackpink and something that works so well for them is their ability to bridge that gap. And that's obviously part of the reason I think that they've become so successful and to the degree that they have um, internationally is the fact that they are able to bridge that gap so well between K-pop and Western music um, because they are so well, they are so skilled at being able to deliver Western sounds and Western, and not only that, but they're able to sing it in a way that appeals to western audiences because they sound and i don't mean this in a it's really easy i feel <laughs> to make this point sound insulting and i don't mean it in an insulting way because any k-pop group singing in english works for me and i love it um and just put in little english bits in the song hit songs here and there no matter what the accent is on it however i do think there is an extra power with being able to deliver lyrics in English lyrics in a perfect kind of English American accent um, in these songs, especially if you're doing a full English song, obviously, because then it translates so much better with Western audiences. And that for me harkens back to when I was getting into K-pop and I didn't really know anything about K-pop. I hadn't really listened to music that wasn't Western before. Um, and even though I was open to it, obviously, because I was checking out K-pop and stuff, like it's still kind of jarring to listen to songs in other languages if you've not done it before. Um, so one thing I found about listening to Blackpink especially was that because they were able to infuse it so well, the English and the, the Korean, it kind of helped, I feel like it helped me get into K-pop more because I, it, it, it was a nice stepping stone. You know, into like now I'm like, oh yeah, I'll listen to full Korean songs. I'll listen to songs of any language and I'll be absolutely fine. Like, I love it. But when I was first getting into it and it was all a bit jarring and all a bit new, um, Blackpink were a really nice bridge, a really nice stepping stone into that because they're able to deliver the English side of things so well and so purely. Um, and yet also keep that Korean side as well. Like, I, I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but if, if you got into K-pop through Blackpink, you might know what I mean. Um, you may have had the same experience I did, but I, I, yeah, I just absolutely love them for that. I love the, the way they're able to bridge that gap between K-pop and the Western side. And I think it's really obviously helped this kind of boom in K-pop and the fact that K-pop is, is, is an international thing now. Um, and I love them. I love them for that. Uh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Again, I just, oh, there's just something about Blackpink's vibe that is so addictive to me. I just, I can't get enough of it. I really can't. But we don't get enough of it. <laughs> Let's face it, we don't. Oh, oh I forgot about this. Oh my god. Oh, hello. We're swearing now. Dropping them curses, mate. I need to read these lyrics, man. I need to read these lyrics. Oh, 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 oh. wait, no, wait, 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 GC, no go again, mate. I need to listen to these vocals. Oh my god, I need to drink these vocals in. I mean, Rose was killing in that first verse, and now we get GC, and she's. Yes, yes. Just yes, yes. Mm. It sounds so good. Oh, mm, 
Perfection. Yes, Perfection. That little ding ding ding. I love that. Oh, I could just like bop to this forever, man. I could just bop to this forever. Why is it so addictive? What is it about about Pete? I don't know what it is. I really don't. And a lot of people don't even like him. <laughs> yeah, I'm here just like this. I can't help but just be addicted by what they do. Um, yeah, that was killer. That was killer. Again, there's just there's something about like when they do these songs where they've got such a simple kind of melody to them, but it's again it's that addictive melody. Same as Shutdown, to be fair. Like Shutdown had that whole violin thing through it, like that kind of violin. Do you call it a riff? I don't really know uh, if it works in in that world. But um, yeah, like that had Shutdown had that going off, um, and again it was kind of a simple melody throughout, but it, it just works. Like it just it just carries you through the song, and it's so good. And then you add in the vocals and things, add in the raps, all that. It's just perfection. <laughs> it's just perfection. I love it. Um, yeah, great start. Great start. So that's cool. So we've got Pink Venom shut down and type of girl. I'm trying to kind of get it in my head what the run, run, <laughs> what the flow of this album is so that I can kind of think how this album would, you know, would run if you were listening to it from start to finish. Um, so that's the kind of three songs in a row that are very much that kind of classic Blackpink style. Um, I'm intrigued to see what else we get in there. Obviously, Ready for Love is right at the end, and that's completely different. So, um, yeah, I'm interested to see where this album goes, in all honesty. Uh, in all honesty. Uh, so the next song on the album is Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. Um, so that's the one we're doing next. Uh, I will be using Jay Gucci's lyric video again. Purely because it came up first on the list. What? Uh, yeah, I don't want adverts though. I can't even show it on screen anymore, so they don't even know what I'm shouting at. Grammarly. <laughs> Once again, they're on my screen. I've not seen this one. Grammarly ensures Ty's confidence comes through in his writing. That way, clients see him as professional and polished every time. I've not seen this advert, and yet I'm just as disinterested as I am with every other advert they throw at me a million times. It's amazing how they do that to me at this point. Just the name Grammarly just makes me want to, like, kill someone. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, I'm joking, by the way, YouTube. Don't, like... <laughs> don't, like... I mean, people are going to start reporting me for it. Don't I talk about murdering people? I've, I've not... I need to stop saying murder. Don't say murder in your videos! Oh, my God. Right, I'm already getting demonetized for this because of copyright so to be honest i can say the word murder as much as i like and youtube probably won't do anything about it hopefully <laughs> i'm have to cut out this entire section of this video on it anyway right yeah 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 by blackpink let's do it <laughs> let's do it pepsi max lime lime flavor maximum taste no sugar. I'm sorry, Jenny. I'm sorry, Jenny. I was doing an advert of your voice. I'm sorry. I'll <laughs> so I won't do it again. Oh. They've broken me. They've broken me. Go again, Jenny. Where's the sound? Where's my sound gone? I've muted it. Oh, I don't... I, I... This is what this group do to me. Right. <laughs> go on, Jenny. Go for it, mate. Oh. Underrated, underrated voice. I'll pause it there. I know it's early. Uh, it's taken me half an hour to start the song as it is. Underrated voice is Jenny's. Um, I really like Jenny's singing voice. And I feel as though it's not appreciated enough. You know, obviously everyone talks about Rosé and Jisoo for obvious reasons. Um, and they absolutely deserve all those plaudits. But I really do like Jenny's voice. Um, just say. <laughs> anyway. 
Thank you to JC. His voice is just every, everything. This is a bit retro. This is very retro. It's all synthy and stuff. The instrumental on this, the instrumental on this, I'm so into it. Oh my god, this is gorgeous! Oh, 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 oh this chorus though. Oh, this, this instrumental on the chorus. Jisoo's voice. <laughs> Red sex voice. Oh! oh. Ah. I adore this. I adore this. Fade out as well. Oh, oh, you know, mm. <laughs> oh, that was really good. That was really good. Oh, that pink. That pink. Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh my god. Um, uh, hang on, let me let me recover for a bit. Oh, fuck that. I've got a big. I've got a bean bag down here. <laughs> I even saw that. There's a beanbag down here anyway. And uh, I keep getting my chair caught on it. That was so good. Favourite so far. Favorite. Well, the th this is the thing right with me. Um, you know, I've already mentioned that like this, the style, the general style of Blackpink they use, you know, the kind, that kind of fierce in your face stuff. Um, is very addictive and I stand by that statement and I love it uh, but I will always generally prefer this kind of thing you know if you throw something like this at me like that retro thing I'm, I'm a sucker for um, so I will always generally prefer that kind of sound um, so this had me from the very start <laughs> this had me from the very start when that chorus kicked in my god uh, the vocals are absolutely stunning on this um, such a different thing and I, th I, you know, props to whoever track listed this and decided on the order of the, in the track list uh, because this it comes at such a perfect time in the album. I like the fact that they've dropped this. It's kind of jarring, but in a really good way that this comes after you get three songs in a row that are very much that classic girl crush Blackpink style. And then you get this as the fourth track and it's so different and like... <laughs> like completely just left of center compared to what we've had so far and it really works because of that like it's it's a really nice refreshing change switch up within the album and again just showcasing like blackpink's ability to switch up the styles like yeah you, you generally think of blackpink as as a certain thing you put them in a certain mold but actually they have so many other songs and so many other styles that they do um and this is something i mean if we off the top of my head, I don't think we've ever... Have we ever heard anything like this from... Closest song I can think of to this would be maybe Lo Love Sick Girl. Um, but we've never had really that proper sort of retro style from Blackpink that I can think of. Um, I loved it. <laughs> I absolutely adored that. My God, that's going to take some beating. That is going to take some beating, not going to lie. Um, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, we are going to move on now.
to the track number five, Hard to Love. That pink is certainly not hard to love. Um, I don't talk. Is this a Rose? Is this a solo? I've searched it up and it's got. I've got a lyric video, but it's just Rose. Isn't it divine? Is this a Rose a solo? Find the courage. I'll find every penny scrubbing. That's what? To follow your dreams. I'm going to buy a drink. I don't. Oh, it's delightful escapism. I'm sure it is, but I'm not interested right now. It was too late. Now I'm not so sure. Mrs. Harris, You've made me want to see this film less. I don't even know what it is. And I don't want to watch it anymore because of this advert. That's all you've done. That's all you've achieved. You've achieved nothing by doing that. Throwing it in my face. Uh, is this a Rosé solo? I didn't think there were any solo tracks on this. <laughs> Are there any more solo tracks on this? Surely not. Well, I don't know, because we've got... There's two more after this, and then Ready for Love. So, are there any of the others? Solo track? <laughs> My throat's going. My voice is going. I felt it go there. Um... Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I'm up for it, because I love Rose's voice, so I'm all for it. But I didn't think any of these songs were solo. Um, hard to love. Let's do it. Let's do it. Rose. <laughs> English. Bonus track of Rose's solo album, mate. What? Well, her voice is perfection. It's one of the best voices in music. In music. Let's get that right, right now. I read that off the lyrics, by the way. I don't mean to think. I was singing along like as if I knew what was coming next. I've, I've not heard it before. I don't, I don't want anyone in the comments like comment me saying like, oh, you clearly knew this before or before because you sung this bit. It's good because I saw it on the lyrics. I could tell what was coming. <laughs> so I'm smart like that. Uh, anyway, I don't want to, I, don't, I didn't pause it for that. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right. right. I'll make you Whoa. Why is her voice so gorgeous? How how does someone get born with that voice just there? Obviously she's trained, but she has that voice naturally. How? It's not fair. Oh, oh. Fire fire. Nice call back. Another gorgeous instrumental, and then we get the vocals, it's just heaven! <laughs> Ow, I just hit my knee. But it's worth it, it's worth it for you, Rose. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. <laughs> Right, no, I'm not. I'm not doing your advert. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna I have to wait for it now, aren't I? Be good <sighs> so the kids are with their grandparents. Why are we talking about perfectly good non Brents? Why is that? Why is why? Why are we going through that right now? It's not relevant to anything. Uh, right. That was stunning, wasn't it? <laughs> that was absolutely stunning. This album is very like chilled, and I like that. Like it's it's very um, 
Even even like the songs that are really kind of, you know, the Blackpink style in your face and stuff. Even that, like like I was saying earlier, um, with Type of Girl, even they feel very, they have a kind of chilled out vibe to them. Um, this whole album, so far at least, it feels very like that. Um, like I can kind of just sit back. Like it's not like a party, like clubbing, like ooh, let's just bop into it and stuff. It's very much a, you know, sit back, relax and enjoy you know, obviously, obviously you're going to be, like, going for it with the beat and stuff. But, like, it's very chilled. And I like that. I like that. Um, hard to love, man. Uh, again, I wasn't expecting a Rosé solo in here. That was a, a pleasant surprise, actually. I, I just... Her voice is just so stunning. I I could never get enough of that voice. It, like, genuinely, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> When I say that, in my opinion, it is genuinely one of the best, the best voices in music, period. Um, I just think it's it's just utterly stunning. There's something about the tone of it and everything that, oh, it just it speaks to me. It speaks to me. Right, what's next? Uh, the Happiest Girl. I've heard good things about this. I've heard good things about this one. Uh, I don't really know what kind of song it is, but I've heard good things about it. So this this is intriguing. Good old Jay Gucci is getting a, another shout out on my channel because I'm using their lyric videos. Thank you so much for that. Um, these images, man. The teaser images. Stunning, stunning. Lisa without lip ring. Oh, right, play. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Don't hold my hand. Don't back me back. Don't say that we'll make it through this. If I'm so beautiful, then why? No, wait, no, no, I'm at, right, hang on, start again, start again, the vocal, the vocal. Don't hold my hand, don't back me back, don't say that we'll make it through this, if I'm so beautiful, then why? Mm, mm. The doors you slam, the place you slash, mm. echo with the sound of madness, I can't Full English again. <laughs> Am I going to start it again? Yes, I'm going to start it again. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't deal with it. The vocals are off the charts. The vocals are off the charts. When GC comes in with that high voice. <sighs> Can't. Yeah, when Jesus comes in. Heaven, that is heaven, that is heaven. Lisa's voice. Oh, Lisa, sing more. Sing more, sing more. Oh don't tease me, don't, please. Oh my god, her voice. This is emotional, mate. This is emotional. All it takes is a smooth pop of a bottle top to fix a baby. All it takes is a little bit of a take us to the star. Go back to the star. But tonight, I'm the happiest girl in the world. You see, like it's 
This bit, oh, all oh, that, that bit. Piss off, Adam. Come on, man. It's right off. Using... I don't need you right now. Let me get over that. <laughs> that was an experience, wasn't it? <laughs> that was an experience, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. that uh, I can say it's stunning. I can say it's perfect. I can say it's heavenly. None of that would even come close. None of that would even come close. I've, loved it. I've used those words a million times before. When it comes to something like this, they've lost the meaning. <laughs> they've lost the meaning. I can't use them for something like this because it just wouldn't be powerful enough. I need more words. I need better words. I need to make some new words for this because... That was, that was just, yeah. just everything, like, just the, the, that instrumental in the back, that constant piano in the background, um, obviously the vocals, and then the lyrics as well, just those meaningful lyrics, um, just the, com everything just came together to perfection in that song. Um, I was blown away, blown away. Um, I don't want to listen to it again. I don't want to listen to it again. I feel like it's one of those songs that you really need to kind of feel and get a full grasp of. Um, I mean, vocally, this group are, I'd say, underrated at this point. I'd say underrated. Because you don't think of Blackpink as a vocal group, really. I certainly don't really think of them that way, just because of the way they generally present themselves and the style that they're, we're used to them uh, being accustomed to. But yet, you know, you get a song like this and you realise actually <laughs> they're a really strong vocal group. Um, and just, just with Rosé and Jisoo alone, who absolutely shone in this song, um, shone in this song. Rosé's voice, I've, I've talked about, a million, million, billion times. <laughs> At this point, it's one of the most stunning song voices I've ever heard in my life. Um, and then Jisoo on top of that is coming in with that high, that sort of higher tone. It's 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 heavenly. <laughs> I guess nothing more I can use. To, and like I say, I will admit freely that you know Rose has always kind of had my heart when it comes to vocals within this group because of the reasons I've expressed before. Um, but Jisoo. You know, I, I want to make it clear that Jisoo has a absolutely incredible voice. <laughs> I I don't give her enough credit for that, quite frankly, on, on some of my reactions. Um, Jisoo is a stunning, stunning vocalist. And a song like this just showcases that. And this whole album, to be fair, has been full of utterly incredible Jisoo vocals. When she goes high like that, she's on another level. Um, that was um, <laughs> that was special. I'm not going to lie, that was special. Um and then on top of that, Jenny's like, Jenny, again, I've spoken earlier about Jenny's voice being underrated. Um, she came in and absolutely killed it. Lisa coming in as well. Like, I, as a Lisa bias, it lo I love it so much when Lisa comes in and do, does those vocal bits because it's not something we hear often. So I, when she comes in and does that, I love it because, she, again, underrated voice. Again, somebody that can really nail a song vocally if she's given the chance. Um, and she absolutely held her own in this song. And I'm proud of her for that. They, they all just utterly killed it. This song was just something extra special and I am privileged. I feel honoured to have heard it um, just well. <laughs> just well. I almost wish that was the last song on the album. Like, in some ways, I feel like that's kind of the perfect... I mean, I know it's not a particularly happy ending. Like, it's quite a... 
solemn song, isn't it? So maybe you don't want to end on that, I guess, which I, I understand. Um, but it does kind of feel like a really nice ending. So just to leave you in that kind of stunned state. <laughs> I finished the album just like sat in your seat like, what have I just heard? Um, would be kind of perfect. But we have got one more song left, one more B-side left. And then obviously it does. the album does end with Ready for Love, which is a fantastic song. Um, so we have got Tally, which is the penultimate track of the album. Um, the final B side, I guess you'd call it. Call it. Uh, it's here. So let's do it. Let's do it. But you know, honestly, I'm kind of intrigued to see how they follow that up. <laughs> like, how do you follow up a song like that? I, I have no idea. I have no idea what to expect it at all with this song. But I'm intrigued. Pepsi Max Lime, Lime Flavor. Um, apparently, I'm back to being a Pepsi stan. For those of you that watched, what video was it that was banging on about Coke? <laughs> like getting a sponsorship deal with Coke because I've tried for Pepsi and for ages and they've not responded. And I was talking about, oh, I, I had like a Coke vanilla or something. I was like, oh, I'm going to start plugging Coke now in the hopes that Coke come to me. Apparently I've gone back to Pepsi. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how long that goes on for. At this point, I'm playing the field. I'm playing the field. I'm going for both of them. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I don't care. Pepsi, hit me up. Sponsorship deal, please, would be wonderful. I'll, I'll wear t-shirts, I'll wear hats. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Just give me money. <laughs> give me money, Pepsi. Yeah, it's shameless, isn't it? Shameless. Um, right, Tally by Blackpink. Thank you, Jay Gucci, for the lyric video again. For all of these lyric videos, to be fair. Much appreciated. Again, it's that chilled out vibe. I love it. This intro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Rose. Oh my god. The attitude in these lyrics. Jesus' voice in this album, on this stuff. Just the message of this song is incredible. Do it like the boys, yes. You know what, right? I've made a um, a point of the. Uh, I've tried to cut the swearing out of my channel. Like, you may have noticed. I don't know. You may have noticed. You may have not. Um, I thought I'll go a bit more, you know, <laughs> mainstream. Um, and I do work with kids in my other job. I work in schools and stuff. So I thought, yeah, you know, maybe I should, you know, <laughs> for my own kind of well being within that sector. I thought I'll cut out the swearing for my videos. I don't want to do, to do the swearing stuff anymore. Um, I've made a good attempt at that. <laughs> and for the most part, I've been able to stick to it. Um, this song does not help with that, does it? <laughs> at all. And uh, good old uh, Jenny has just has just pulled out the old footboys line. And now I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with my life. Because uh, Jenny just said that. And, and yeah, it was beeped out at least. Um, <laughs> what? The lyrics? That's mad. Okay. Okay. Like, give me a second to process that one. Jesus. They're going all out on this album, aren't they? This is mine. This is mine. Sometimes I like to go play daddy. Just like all other boys do. That's my choice and there's no one I'm hurting. And that's not 
Again, the vocals, mate. This is a this is a good album. Is this right? Is this a bit of a statement about um, the thing I'm kind of linking it to in my brain? And there's probably a lot of different things that this could be making a statement on. And I think it is. But like more specifically to Blackpink and their personal lives and stuff. Obviously Jenny in her dating life, I feel like could be a, a point in this song. The fact that they're saying, um, you know, I'll do what I want with who I like. Like, I don't care. Kind of that, that kind of attitude to say like, you know, screw you to all the kind of haters, the people that are judging um, these girls for, for doing what they want. And I think it's a statement on, you know, obviously f the judgment of, uh, females in general um, but I think from on a personal level it feels like it could be kind of a statement you know especially when you hear Jenny singing that line I feel like it's very much could be linked to that I don't know maybe I'm clutching at straws but um, obviously she's had to le deal with a lot of that kind of stuff of like and, and so many idols do and so you know in terms of that whole kind of or oh, you know people judging them for like dating people which is utterly ridiculous utterly ridiculous we should be happy for people finding love like that's that's a positive wonderful thing um so i i'm in no way in the camp of judging somebody for that i don't know why that's a thing um but i'm thinking maybe this song is kind of speaking out on that a little bit i don't know maybe whatever the case i absolutely love it <laughs> i absolutely love it I love that doing like the boys and say like again it's that sass, it's that attitude, I love that. It's out this group is so good at that. What an album, what's an album? And then we finish up with Ready with Love, which I'm really excited to listen to again. That is a song that um that obviously I have listened to at this point because I did a reaction to the MV and stuff. But I don't think I've heard it since because it's not been on Spotify or anything because we've been, we've been waiting for the album. Um, so I'm really excited to hear that again. Uh, and obviously we end with that song. Um, but what an album, man. And this, you know, and this is the thing. For those people that, and I know there are a lot of people out there that don't really like Blackpink's music in terms of their title tracks, in terms of the main tracks they put out. A lot of people have an issue with songs like Pink Venom, songs like um, Shut Down, I'm guessing, will probably get the same reception, let's be honest, um, because it is in that that mould. Um, you know, even some of the earliest, like Kill, Kill This Love and stuff. Um, songs like that, How You Like That, got that kind of treatment. Those kind of songs, like anyone that has an issue with those songs, once you get past the first three songs on this album, to be honest, everything else is very, very different. I feel like could will easily appeal to a lot of different people and there's some different styles in there and stuff um so i really hope that those people that aren't sure about that pink and that that kind of take issue with some of their stuff that they release in terms of their main songs and the title tracks i really hope they give this album a go because actually once you get past like i say the kind of those first three songs if you're not someone that appreciates that kind of style once you get past those three and i love those three <laughs> don't get me wrong i love those three personally but if you are somebody that doesn't like that kind of thing the the following songs just wow I, i'm very different and i think are going to appeal, appeal to a lot of people um this is a really really good album <laughs> this is a really really good album album of the year it's possible it's possible i've got twice down as my album of the year at the moment um personally but there are some big contenders in that category <laughs> so I don't know. I don't, I, I've got to listen to it again and figure that out. But it's certainly up there because I'm I'm in love with it. Uh, this one, favorite track? <laughs> no, no idea. No idea. Um, my my early instinct is to go with uh, yeah 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 because that retro vibe is I really did adore. 
the happiest girl is is something absolutely incredibly special and that that is also up there um but honestly that i really don't know <laughs> i really don't know and again i'm excited to hear ready for love again because i really like that when i first heard um who knows <laughs> who knows this this album man, is, is utterly incredible um and again I, I just love that kind of chilled out vibe that it's got that it delivers throughout the songs Something I also wanted to mention that I really like with Blackpink as well that they've been doing. Um, I like, and I've talked about how, kind of how I like the attitude and the sass. Um, and I kind of I like Blackpink as that group that may in the future be willing to kind of be that forward thinking group, especially with some of Korea's more kind of controversial positions on certain issues shall we say um and they're kind of would you call it conservative nature i don't really know if that's the right word um but you may know what i mean if if, if you know like from a politics perspective and from a from that kind of viewpoint um there are there are, is something to i think uh, having a group that are able to kind of speak out against that and actually able to make points within their songs. And I think that's what they've started to do here is, is those kind of statement songs that actually mean a lot more um, than just what they are on the surface level. And I like that about what they're doing here. Um, and I kind of like the idea of them doing more of that, you know, because they are one of those kind of bridging the gap um, between Korea and Western music. And I, I like the fact, the idea of them being that group that does that. Um, and I kind of hope they we get more of that. It kind of reminds me of Duff Cameron in a way, uh, doing Duff Cameron recently in her recent release, Breakfast, which is very politicised. And I'm not saying that I want Blackpink to like be politicised in any way or like make statements on political issues or stuff like that. Anything like that, I don't mean that by any stretch. Um, but I see a kind of parallel between what they're doing and their ability to make statements within their songs. Um, and I think Blackpink have that perfect kind of position to be able to do that. And I like the fact that we're seeing some of that. Like that last song, Tally, felt very kind of, it had a bit of a feminist position to it. And, and I like it. I like that kind of thing. Um, yeah. And this whole album, to be fair, generally, I think. Uh, I adore this. I adore this. I'm not going to lie. I am <laughs> absolutely all for every single song on this album. Um, I'm really excited to see how this is viewed. Like I said, I've heard good things already. Let me know what you think of this song in the comments. I will end this uh, video now because I'm aware it's going to probably have gone on for quite a while. Um, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Please, if you enjoy this reaction, drop us a like, drop us a comment, as I've already mentioned. Of course, subscribe to you, my lovely self. Join the royal family, become a royal yourself. That would be fantastic. I genuinely do want to hear all your thoughts on this album. Please let me know your favourite songs. You can do rankings if you want of all the songs. Whatever you want, I'd just love to hear your thoughts as a fellow Blink. So please do get involved in the comments. That would be incredible and i'll see you next time guys for the next run selling a i love you all